I encouraged him to take a job that was a massive pay cut. It actually caused me quite a bit of stress. Because Ed is kind of stuck with me. He's stuck with a lot of my debt. My spending is out of control. We argue about money because we don't have it. You people are totally screwed. My name is Ed, and uh, I'm a pilot. My name is Brandy. I'm 27, and I'm in property management. One day you're in Chicago, the next day you're in New York City, the next day you're in Hong Kong. It's just fun. It's a fun job. Ed gets his cheap flights, and it only costs us 20 bucks or so to actually get there. You can meet me in Boston tonight? Yes. OK. But then we have to book our hotel. And then there's the dinners, and there's the entertainment. I love spending my money on shoes. Rock climbing, brunch, sushi. I love going to the spa. It's very enjoyable. He likes to buy the best of the best. If you're going to drink something, why do you want to drink poor wine? Who needs a $400 blender? She caught my eye the very first time I saw her. I hear these high heels clicking across the floor, and I look up, and Brandy's standing there in front of me. Little did I know she ended up being my wife. I've probably given her too much gifts, but that's just the way I am. He bought new Tiffany necklaces, a new bracelet, this ring, this ring, of course, which is <laughs> pretty fabulous. Ed and I are getting married, and we're trying to plan a wedding. Oh, my God. The amount of money she owes, I personally think is relatively large. Ed hates my school debt. I want it taken care of, because when I marry her, it's my problem, and I don't want that problem. When we first met, I was making a lot more money. We faced a reduction in income basically around the same time. This has been a big financial hit. Now that his income has gone down, he still spends a lot of money on me. Having a partner can cost money, right? And it, that's fact. You know when you become adult, everything kind of <laughs> sneaks up on you. I've had to go into my retirement fund a little bit, and I bought Randy's engagement ring with that. He's closer to retirement than I am. <laughs> but I don't want to be in a situation where I reach retirement and can't retire. I hope that Gail will assist us in establishing a route to dig us out of the hole. This month, I'll help this couple move from red to black. I've been solving money problems for over 20 years, tackling everything from high finance to low income. I help people understand money and debt, which is still a huge mystery for most folks. And it's the number one reason couples split up. So now, I'm making house calls. This pair of high flyers hasn't faced up to the reality of their income or their debts. They're so busy having fun, there's no time to plan for the future. Randy and Ed have their heads in the clouds. I'm here to bring them back to Earth. Hi. Hello. Gail Fars Oxlade. Randy. Nice to meet you. Hi, Ed. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, you, Ed. Ah, Brandy loves pearls, and Ed loves buying them for her. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Aha! These would be all of Ed's shirts. One, two, three. <laughs> 17, 18, 19. <laughs> there are a lot of shirts in this closet. Hey, Ed! Hello. Are you a little bit of a close horse, honey bunny? I like shirts. Hmm. How much did the bike cost? Taxi was Ed, just over $2,000. $400 for a blender. Yes, but it goes 47,000 RPM. <laughs> well, that would be important if you were flying it to China. <laughs> Brandy. Yes. Why am I here? Basically, I have a lot of debt. Do you think that all of this stems from the fact that you have a lot of debt? Uh, no, I think there's two factors involved. That being a massive factor, and the other factor being that he has to also learn how to adjust his spending. So while you're living on less income, mm -hmm. you also think it's a great idea to take money out of your retirement plan to buy Brandy a ring. And it is a beautiful ring. But what were you thinking? <laughs> well, you're putting it kind of like realistically now, so it doesn't sound all that good. Your spending, one could go so far as to say it's out of control. Because I, I don't want to have clothing that looks worn and is out of style. I can't believe you just said that. Oh, <laughs> why? <laughs> I'd rather be a You dad are such a turd. Than be out of style. <laughs> okay, listen to me, people. Yes. You are not taking this seriously enough. 
you people are totally screwed. Let me tell you something. She has 30 odd thousand dollars worth of student debt. You become a hotshot pilot and get your big freaking income back. You think you're golden. She gets pregnant, has two children. How do you think you're gonna pay this debt off and make it till the end of the month? Answer? I could strip. Frick. You know, you may be my candidate for no money. The reason why nobody has ever gotten zero dollars is because I always think to myself, there might be one worse, but you might be them. You guys are starting your relationship off together with $40,000 worth of debt, 30,000 of which is Brandy's student loans. Is that more than you thought it was, Ed? Uh, I thought it was 27,000. Here's the thing. At the rate that you're repaying some of these loans, it's gonna take you the better part of 12 to 14 years to get them paid off. And by the time you do, your $30,000 worth of student loans will end up costing you another $22,000 in interest. That's super. <laughs> it's a lot of money. Did it not ever occur to you to go and look and say, why is my debt growing if I'm making payments? I didn't really pay attention to it. Okay, I'm gonna open another screen now. Before I open the screen, I wanna say something to you. It is not healthy to have a financial situation where you pay $1,100 worth of the rent and Brandy pays 400. Every other fixed payment seems to be Ed's responsibility and the play seems to be Brandy's. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look too good. And it's like you're keeping it separate for a reason. I guess everybody carries baggage forward in life and yeah. that's just the way my life was before. It is time to put the baggage down and decide that you have a joint life, mm -hmm. that you do not have two separate lives that intersect over brunch. What's next is how much you're overspending by every single month. How much? 2,000, more. 2,000? Mm, 17, something. 17? You're overspending by $4,000 no. a month. How is that possible? Please do tell. That's a lot of money. Here's the budget numbers you gave me. Here are the actual numbers that we posted. Oh, yeah, OK because I didn't count on the average of some of the things. You're overspending by more than $4,000 a month. And if you keep it up, in five years, you'll have $350,000 worth of debt with no house and no baby as part of that. Are you prepared to do anything I say? <laughs> as long as it's legal. You're not going to whine and wimp out? I haven't yet. OK. How about you, pussycat? I'm, I'm down. I'm good. So, over the next four weeks, I'm gonna give you a series of challenges to do. You do the challenges to my satisfaction, and you'll get up to $5,000 to help pay down this debt. You don't do the challenges, you don't get the money. We have a three-point plan. First, we're gonna merge your money and get you managing it together. We're gonna to get you on a debt repayment plan that will actually work. And we're gonna get you planning to have fun together, so all that traveling and restauranting and everything else doesn't get you any further into debt. Okay? What comes next is you're gonna to have to learn to live on cash. So oh. you're gonna get me your credit cards and your debit cards because they're gonna go on a holiday. We have them all here. Thank you. you. Bye-bye, credit cards. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Coming up, is it love or money? People pay like three, four, five thousand dollars for the dresses. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Airline pilot Ed loves the jet set lifestyle while his girlfriend Brandy shops. I think I'll take it. Ed has some shiny new toys of his own. I have a little trouble controlling what I spend. Overspending by $4,000 a month means they're starting their lives together $40,000 in debt. I'm here to bring them back to Earth before this engagement crashes and burns. For the next month, this couple will learn to live on a strict cash budget. No more credit cards. They'll complete weekly challenges to tackle their money and relationship issues. And if they're willing to change, I'll reward them with thousands of dollars. No changes, no money. So you were spending $6,200. Mm -hmm. And now you'll have $1,650 a month. And that works out to $125 a week for food. We can do that. That's doable. Yeah. 
$125 a week for transportation, $35 a week for entertainment, $31.25 for clothing and gifts. Ah. Do you know what you were spending on stuff before? About $2,800 okay. a month. So it's a little bit of a cut. Yeah. And finally, $96.25 for other. My budget balances. Do you think you could balance a budget? Yeah, I think I could make a budget. So glad to hear that, because this brings me to your first challenge. <laughs> I want you to come up with a picture of what your life is going to look like in five years, okay? You're gonna create me a slideshow showing me what this life of yours looks like. But you have to price it, and you have to figure out how many hours you have to work to pay for that. In other words, how much of your life's energy do you have to put into the acquisition of your stuff? What do you think? There's a little bit of work there for sure. Not the answer I want to hear. Yeah, we can do it. Much better. <laughs> so I'll see you next week. The challenge, it will allow us to focus on what is actually attainable versus utopia. Okay, non-negotiables. It'll be difficult to figure out what we want for the next five years because once you actually work out those numbers, it would be terrible if you knew that your dreams and wishes couldn't come true. So basically a home is non-negotiable, right? Down payment's $20,000 or two months of work, or life energy, as they say. I love the, the way Gail explained it as life energy because you only have so much of that. And if you want to spend it all at the office just so you can have a boat, right, then that's a choice I need to make. Mm -hmm. We want the boat, right? Yeah. But I don't want a boat from the 1980s. No, I know you don't. That one's not going to be powerful enough. Well, that's not it. I need to wakeboard. Calm down. Well, we're going to have to change the way our home looks. Mm, no, no gold pillows. <laughs> You like this? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Well, before we move and buy a home, what do we have? Wedding. Worst case scenario would be, I guess, that uh, it causes ongoing fighting over directions that we want to go in our lives. Okay, so I have the wedding dress down for $900. $900? Yeah. Yeah, but you said that you saw some on the website for $250. So let's do the math on that. $700 a month just for the wedding. It's not going to work. The whole point of the show is fiscal responsibility. People pay like three, four, five thousand dollars for the dresses. Yeah, but they have more money than us. <laughs> so your challenge this week was to come up with a slideshow that's going to show me what your life is going to look like. So, a wedding, a puppy, <laughs> a house, some furniture for that house, and a boat. So you're looking at about fifty-three thousand dollars. Mm. When you were calculating the number of days it would take to pay for things, did you use your gross income or your net income? Net. Good boy. Did you use before your fixed expenses or after your fixed expenses? Uh, before. Before. But all your income is not disposable income. You have to pay rent, you have to buy food, you have to pay your car payment. Traditionally, people think of their income in gross dollars and think of their expenses in net dollars, mm. so they're already 35% behind. Yeah. So that's just a heads up. Mm -hmm. So you know when you do these calculations, you have to take that into mind. How'd you find the whole exercise? It was enlightening to see just actually how much money it takes to move forward debt free. Yes, well, the very yeah. fact that we've achieved that means we've achieved a lot. It's a yeah. major wake up, which brings me to your next challenge. And it's about knowing the value of something versus your expensive taste in stuff. Coming up, does Brandy have a nose for bargains? It reminds me of a bad night in college. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 Brandy is newly engaged and in a financial fog. Rock climbing, brunch, sushi, cheese, the spa. Fiance Ed sees clouds on the horizon. This relationship could have some problems if the finances aren't taken care of. Your credit cards are on vacation. Florida's. I figured our credit cards would have better taste than that. Yeah, yeah. like Hawaii. While their credit cards continue to live the high life, Brandy and Ed have to learn to live on a budget. To earn up to $5,000 to pay down their debt, they have to complete three challenges with no sour grapes. This week, I want them to discover if their palates recognize price tags. There's two categories of wine, right? There's garbage that you pay $9 for, and there's good wine. We enjoy wine very much, anywhere from $80 to $120 a bottle. We're going to compare the two. Just look at the color, and you can smell it. What do you think? 
What do you think? It reminds me of a bad night in college. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure that'll turn out to be the least expensive wine. The thing about good quality wine is that it's generally a little bit more complex. It's a little longer on the tongue of the taste. Yeah. The longer it lasts on your palate, the better the wine. So the challenge now is to price these. Yeah. The most expensive is number three. Three. And then Next down. number two. And then number, number four, four. And number one. Number one. That's exactly <laughs> right. Hands down, you did it. <clears throat> so that's perfect. The, the most expensive one was number three, and I didn't enjoy them. Right. Therefore, price doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be your favorite wine. Absolutely. So. True. We enjoy higher quality things, but paying a higher price for a bottle of wine does not necessarily mean that it's a higher quality. Cheers. 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 I hear you guys really scored uh, with the wine tasting, you in particular. So what did you learn from the exercise? The Argentina bottle number five is fabulous. It's economical. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah, it was only 12 bucks and it was delicious. $12? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. about half what you usually spend. Yeah. yeah. So money isn't everything. Yeah, Label absolutely. Label isn't everything. It's all about taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For sure. Do you have money left in the jars? Yes. yes. Now cut your budget way back. How come you have money left? Oh, you're definitely paying, we're paying a lot more attention. Like we went away this yes. weekend and it was a lot of Rob and Peter to pay Paul out of the jars, yes. which was authorized. Absolutely. So would it be fair to say a light has come on? Lots of them. So do you want to know what this week's challenge is? Yes. <laughs> I see Ed as being very strong, very much the leader, and I see you as being willing to let him take that role. True? Well, yeah. When I leave, do you think that you will be able to rein the other guy in? Or are you just going to flip right back to whatever we want, we can have? Is I'd like to see you work together at something where Brandy is taking the lead role and you are playing her greatest support. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you have to come up with a okay. skating dance routine. <laughs> this is terrible. Coming up. Will Brandy and Ed score a perfect 10 on their last challenge? I actually can come across as a bit of a strong individual. I don't really perceive it that it's bad. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. When Ed's income took a temporary nosedive, his spending didn't. I like to provide a certain type of lifestyle. Even if it lands them in the poorhouse. You're just as willing to back each other up in your bad decisions as in your good decisions. If they can change their ways, I'll give them up to $5,000 to pay down their debt. But first, Ed has to give up the captain's seat and see if Brandy can take over the control. I actually can come across as a bit of a strong individual. We're going to start off here with the waka, 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 waka. I don't really perceive it that it's bad. We're going to hold hands, skate up through the middle, drop down to our knees. So it'll be one, two, three, four. Roger. Do you have it? OK. Maybe an outsider can see what we don't necessarily see, and this challenge could possibly bring that to light. Seven, eight, car. <laughs> and to the side. I'm doing long swirlies. Down. Back up. And this. No, 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 this one. Jump at the wheel line. Woo! We're going to get ready for the jump. OK. OK. And oh. no! Two, now. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <I'll be back>. <laughs> <laughs> How was the skating? It was fun. Good. <laughs> you were the boss, supreme commander. Yes. I was trying to teach Ed how to count. And what did you learn from it? How to work as a team. Yes. Certainly. Yeah. You get better results when you work together. When I got here, you were overspending by $4,000 a month and heading towards $375,000 worth of debt in five years. Mm -hmm. Without a house, no mortgage, not too much to show for it. No puppies. No puppies, no babies, no nothing. Just a lot of debt. On the debt repayment plan I've set up for you, you will be debt free years. in just over two and a half years. Two and a half, yeah. Okay. Instead of the 14 and a half years it was going to take you, <laughs> <laughs> on the brandy <laughs> repayment plan. That's a big difference. Brandy. That was the non-repayment plan is what that was. That's what that yeah. was. Okay. We also have $100 set aside in your budget for emergencies and $200 set aside for savings. Okay. Okay. And once your debt is paid off, 
you can decide how you're going to reallocate the money you've been using for debt repayment, mm -hmm. put some of it back in your budget, boost your savings, particularly you, Brandy, because Ed already has some retirement money set aside and you need to start. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, this month we got you working together as a financial team. Mm -hmm. We taught you that the best things in life don't have to come with a big fat price tag. And we gave you the opportunity to learn that sometimes Brandy can be the supreme commander and you can be her loyal supporter. I could give you a thousand dollars. Yeah. That's the least I've ever given anyone. But I don't think I'll do that. I think I'll give you a check for five thousand dollars. <laughs> 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 to pay down your debt. Is that included in the two and a half years? Yes, it is. Yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Even if the money wasn't there, I would have taken part in this show. But I have something else for you. I'm waiting. <laughs> It's a wine tour. Oh. Go have a bottle on me, okay? I was afraid of my finances, and this show has forced me to look at all of that, and I realized that it's not actually all that scary, and we're able to get out of debt. I thought it would take me at least 10 years to do it.